Hello and a very warm welcome. Now we're going to do a true story. We've not done one of these in a while with it being so hectic with football and Formula One. So we've got a bit of gap in proceedings. So I'm going to bring a true story. Now, most people see me as a likeable, genuine, normal guy who's a bit on the quiet side, which that would sum me up pretty well. Genuine, normal guy, but I have... Um, this video is when when I got arrested. Like, people see me as just a genuine normal guy. Not, like, they don't see me. Like, they don't think I've got a bad side to me. This particular time, I did have a bad side to me. And this is a true story. Then Now, this is not, um, like, bragging or anything. This is a bad experience. And one that I sh will never, uh, like, replicate. But... Of course, it was alcohol-based, not an excuse, but this is the truth. Um, like, I was 17, I think, obviously showing off in front of my mates um, and some women, well, girls, women, whatever you want to call them uh, back then, showing off, showing off. Like, I had, like, maybe 10, 11 bottles of Stella, and I was only 17 at the time, probably never had that much in my life and yeah just showing off like you know you know how it is showing off in front of your mates trying to impress people and yeah backfired dramatically and every time we used to drink we used to have a routine we used to drink and then we used to go down to the pizza shop in town and then we'd go home at this particular night i got absolutely levered 11 maybe even 12 bottles of Stella Artois and yeah I was absolutely rat assed rat assed I was um, but it was an expensive evening it wasn't just buying a 10 quid bottle of Stella's it was an expensive evening so we had our drinks I was rat assed we go outside to go to the pizza shop and yeah we get towards town when we were in town you had to go past this other posh pizza place to get to the other. You had to go over a bridge. And I basically, we used to always do it. We just stupid, stupid when you look back at it. We used to always knock on this posh, like, pizza window. And it had, like, tainted glass. I, obviously, I go up to it, don't I? I knock on it, think, oh, you're just knocking on it. But obviously, when you've had a lot to drink, you think a knock like obviously it's stronger in it and of course what happened the fucking window smashed and i got carried on to the pizza shop got me pizza i was oh i was fine i was fine i was enjoying my evening and blue flashing lights start to appear and then obviously they didn't need to look far because i had literally blood on my hand Unbelievable, how stupid. I mean, it was literally so obvious who the culprit was. I mean, I knocked on the window thinking I'd knocked on it lightly. Obviously, it wasn't like, cut my hand, went to the pizza shop as normal. They come up and it's pretty obvious who it was because I don't know if the pizza shop rang saying this guy's got blood on his hand. Um, but yeah, then I got caught, obviously got taken away. And yeah, had to spend a night um, in a cell. And that is the worst experience ever. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Four walls around you, you literally have nothing to do apart from... And you literally, well, you tread like a criminal, but it's like even worse than that. You literally have a bed, a toilet to piss in, and you've got nothing to do. And yeah... Then obviously I admitted it because I was guilty of seeing it was on camera. And yeah, just had to admit it that basically I got drunk, made a mistake. And yeah, I take the consequences and the consequences was 385 quid. And that was a lot of money back then when I was 17. 385 quid I had to spend. I think it was 300 for the window because it was tainted glass and I had to pay court fees um, 
yeah, I got taken. It was a night. Then I got let out. Then I had to go to court a couple of weeks after. I admitted it, and they said, you, I have to pay this fee. And basically, I got a slap on the wrist, but I had to pay a lot of money for the damage, which I took. But yeah, that is a true story when I got arrested. That is a true story, um, and not one I will ever be replicating because that is the one of the worst experiences of my life. Probably hitting the birds was the worst pl worst experience of my life because I, I literally thought, yeah, like I thought that was it when we hit the birds and we were going up in the air. That, sc that honestly scared the shit out of me. But yeah, that is not an experience. Four walls around you, you have nothing to do. You, you just can't escape, it's horrible. You don't have the freedom. You're just wrapped up till someone literally comes and gets you. Awful. And yeah, that is a true story. We haven't done one of these with football and Formula 1 being on, but I thought I'd do one. And this is not me bragging. This is me being me, like being honest. People see me as a normal, genuine guy. They wouldn't think that I'd got in trouble, but I have been in trouble. I was a bit of a... I'd say I was a bit of a bad lad when I was 16 to, like, 19. Like, just typical, t like, t kind of teenager. Drinking, or drinking, drinking, trying to impress, and it backfired dramatically. That was an expensive evening. 385 quid it was. Now, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure the window, and obviously they would have had to pay someone to fit it, and I've, I'm pretty sure the court court cost was 85 quid. And I couldn't even go on my own because I was, like, not 18 at the time. Um, but that is a true story. Um, comment down below. Would love to know your thoughts. Have you ever been in trouble before? I mean, it was literally just stupidity. It was drunk-related. I got absolutely rat-assed. Smashed a window. Had to pay the consequences. And, yeah, not... Not something that you want to be doing. I mean, what an expensive evening that was. Kind of crazy, but I've, I'll never get in trouble again. That was a harsh lesson, but a lesson that I will never, ever be doing again. Because, honestly, one of the worst experiences ever.